I got this Magnifico. You told me I had to have uh, it. Well, you chose wonderful colors. Yes, I did. This Thank is you. Our newest thread. We have 200 colors, and they're all solid colors. And it's the first time we've been able to put a high strength and a high sheen together. Okay. Up to now, we had a high sheen. We had our highlights thread. We have our studio colors. Our rainbows thread is variegated. And they're all high sheen, but they're not as strong as a non-high sheen. So we went to work, and our engineers got together, and now they got a high strength, high sheen, and the label will say HTT polyester. The website will say, and the HT is high tenacity. It's okay. a high strength. Trilobal polyester. So you're talking too big for me. Bottom line, it doesn't break. Real strong. Okay. Which means great for high speed machines, whether you're a home machine or oh, a long arm. Okay. Yay. But then Miss Heather came up with another great so, idea. Here is what Heather does. She gets out a, she sets up on her little big table, 600 colors. Okay. And then she'll say, okay, I think these four are going to look great as variegated threads. So this is the product of A plus B plus C plus D. Heather, how do you come up with this? I mean, seriously. I see the colors in my I see the colors in my mind. Really? Uh huh. And I go, okay, this if this combination goes. What were you doing in the sixties? <laughs> Be little, <laughs> riding a bike. Hey, wait, wait, she wasn't even I wasn't born. even born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. These so it'd nice. be like this. You would line up these and you'd go, okay, if this is next to this, is there enough contrast? What looks better? The red and the green to be away from each other or next to each other? And so I go, okay, this looks good together. This one looks good together. This looks good together. These two, these will never touch this. Okay. If that makes any sense. So, this is the same as this, which is the same as this, which is the same as this. So, every color has to show up and look good next to each other. And I want to show everybody here. Um, you pointed, yeah, and you pointed something out before we actually started this little segment, is that it's kind of equal amount of color. One inch color change. Right. So, you don't have a big long color and then like a short one. No. Okay. So you have have even color, which means that you get lots of color in a small space. All right. Let's see the color card. Okay, that's the Magnifico color card with the 200 colors that's available. This is beautiful. Really. Wonderful embroidery thread. Really, really great embroidery thread. What do you put on the bobbin with this? Uh, itself or bottom line. Okay. I'm so spoiled with pre-round bobbins. It's bottom line. And I just match. I have enough bottom line to match the colors up here, so I just put in the matching one underneath. You don't see any stitches. Your little satin stitches look absolutely perfect. So how much does a cone like this run? The regular price on it is $17.90 uh -huh. for 2,000 yards. Okay. I'm making a mess here, Bob. The solid colors are quite a bit less. <laughs> the solids are only $11.90. Okay. The technology to do a precise one-inch color change is quite expensive, That's, but we love that, so we pay extra for that. Okay, and he's not kidding. I'm trying to break it, and I think... Come on, I'll Alex. Come on, Alex. You can do it. Wow. Oh. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. Did you cut yourself? Yeah, I don't know. I probably <laughs> thought I might, so. Okay, this is great. I, and this works great for quilting and embroidery. This is both for both. It's really a good thread. How do you guys come up with these ideas? Uh, we listen to people. People will tell us if we're at shows or they'll write us or call us and say, we need this. And we hear it enough and we go, okay, we better develop that because there's a market. And then we develop it and then everyone buys it. So, yay! So why is this so strong? You've heard the word trilobal? I've heard it. What trilobal means is under a microscope, the silk, uh -huh. you know why silk is so shiny? Under a microscope, the silk strand is one, one, one is three-sided, like a Toblerone candy bar. Okay. And they tried to copy that into polyester. So traditionally, instead of a round microfilament, it's three-sided, it's trilobal polyester, but it's weak. We couldn't get a high-strength, high-sheen poly until a year ago. They were able to take a high tenacity, which is a high-strength microfiber, and turn that into a trilobal, and now we have high-sheen and high-strength, but it gets even better. As fine as this thread is, this is a number 40 thread, that's made up of four plies. 
So what you're feeling is four strands twisted together. Wow, it's so fine. But it gets better, because each of those four strands are made up of micro strands, 48. So what you're feeling is 48 plus 48, plus 48 plus 48 twisted together. Add that together, 192. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 192 micro strands of high strength, high sheen poly into that thread. Okay, so Heather picked out the colors. How do you get the colors on here? Are, are these different colors of thread? Or how does that all work? It starts as a neutral color, continuous strand, miles and miles long. And then they put it through a technology dyeing machine and every inch it will change. And they're precision dyed. So you don't get a lot of bleed over. You see where the green to the purple, you get very little overlap. So it's a real precise technology. Again, that's fairly new. So it is one continuous strand of thread. Love this. I think I need to take the stuff I got plus this other with me too. We have a lot of those. So thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you.